Hi everyone, I'm Ed Orcutt, your state representative from the 18th District. I represent portions of Cowlitz and Clark counties, including Camas, Washougal, Salmon Creek, Battleground, Ridgefield, and LaCenter, up through Woodland, Kalama, and Tootle to the county line. I'm reporting to you from the 2009 legislative session here in Olympia. This session, I've signed on to two bills sponsored by my 18th District seatmate, Representative Jamie Herrera, that deal with a rather annoying license plate replacement mandate. Many of you have probably been surprised at some point in the last few years to get a notice in the mail informing you that your license plates were no longer any good and needed replacing. Whether your automobile has been in the garage for the past five or seven years or out in the fields, the state sets an automatic time frame to replace your license plates. To make matters worse, you were informed that if you wanted to keep your existing license plate numbers, you would be charged a $20 processing fee. In my opinion, this is an unnecessary burden on our citizens and their wallets. The first bill, House Bill 1368, would eliminate the state-initiated license plate replacement mandate and instead allow car owners to ask for a replacement plate as needed. The only time the state could require new plates would be during the transfer of ownership. The second bill, House Bill 1367, eliminates the $20 fee associated with keeping the original plate numbers if a plate does need to be replaced. In my mind, our state shouldn't be in the business of mandating and then charging you for a change that isn't necessary. We're seeing different views on the state budget situation as, as the majority party says they're in no hurry to pass a supplemental budget containing any significant cuts for the remainder of the 2007-2009 budget cycle. Their plan at this point is to make a few small policy cuts and then wait for the revenue forecast to come out in the middle of March. In fact, they recently introduced a bill that makes only small cuts, but the bill contains none of the significant ongoing reductions, including in the governor's supplemental budget proposal. I believe that every day we wait is an opportunity wasted. The quicker we make the necessary cuts in entitlement programs, the more money we'll save now and in the future. While we're swimming in debt, they are content just to tread water. It also appears the majority party may be waiting for a federal bailout. Some are saying that the Obama administration will send money to the states to help out with budget deficits. However, even if some money does come from the federal government, every day we wait to address our $6 billion shortfall is another dollar taken out of our pockets. We need to be arriving at solutions and we need to do it now, not later. And any money from the federal government is still money that came from you, the taxpayer. Again, I want to thank you for tuning in to my weekly video update. It is a pleasure and an honor to represent you here in Olympia. If you have any questions or concerns on any of the issues I've mentioned or any other issue, please feel free to contact my office. You can use my direct line at 360-786-7812. Again, that's 360 360- 786-7812. Can use the toll-free hotline or send a message by email. And don't forget to check my webpage for news. I'm Ed Orcutt, your state representative. Thanks again for joining me.